Hi everybody. So just wanted to come on with things going on in the United States right now. Um, I felt like I was given a reminder, obviously to keep our eyes on Yeshua, on Jesus, but truly understanding the times that we're in, biblically and spiritually, like prophetically, is that we're waiting for Yeshua's return. And we should really just not get too distracted by what's going around us, but to just trust in God and to trust in our Savior who is coming back for his bride, who is coming back for his people, you know? Um, so we should really just be looking inward in ourselves, looking within our households, and really just like getting things set in order, being prepared and ready for his coming whenever, when that time is. And, you know, there's this whole year people have been trying to set dates and it's okay, I understand, to talk about seasons. It's okay to want to talk about it, not try to mislead people. But the point is that every day we should be focusing on preparing ourselves for his coming. And I think when we shift our mindset to being prepared for his coming, it really kind of... I guess kind of takes the burden and stress of the world off our shoulders, you know, um, here in the U.S. with what's going on, definitely. Um, so I'm like free, I'm cold. We don't usually come outside to play because I can't stand the cold and I took the kids out because it's not raining. I'm standing here like freezing. It's probably not even that cold. I just feel really cold. Anyways, um, I just hope to encourage somebody out there that when you put, when you shift your perspective, What's truly really important right now is preparing yourself, preparing your household, and sharing sharing Yeshua, sharing Jesus with anyone and everyone you can. Um, yeah, and obviously be realistic. I mean, there's things to also prepare in the physical and, you know, too. So, but I think that's when it comes to... Um, you know, building that kind of relationship with God that you can hear spiritually, see spiritually. Mommy. When we want to, you know, we want to build our relationship with God so well to the point that we'll be able to hear Him, hear Him, have our spiritual ears open, have our spiritual eyes open, so that here in the physical, God can really truly lead us in the direction we need in preparation or even just security and protection. Um, um, when to go, when to stay, what to say, what not to say. You know, we really need to be so in tuned. And I'm speaking, because I've been um, convicted on this myself. Like I too need, uh, I, I'm working on that myself. I, um, for, our, for my sake, for my, and especially, especially my family's sake, that um, I want to rely on him. Because we can't trust man. We can't put our hopes in man, in government. We can't put our hopes and people, people we thought we can trust are turning, you know, things like that. So who can we really trust? Well, only God, only God we can trust. So we must be prepared spiritually for what's to come. Um, and I guess in ways that I'm helping or I'm working on myself is not just praying, right? <laughs> but also like praying scripture, like, um, I specifically sought out scripture for specific things and, uh, you know, regarding, you know, praying over our children and us and things that we need help in or whatever and, and taking that and just praying scripture because the Lord knows what we need, you know, but there's something about speaking the word that is alive and sharper than any two-edged sword, you know, and speaking it out. So I, I'm working on that. Um, I know I haven't really posted anything or been on. And a long while, and honestly, I feel like there may have been things placed on my heart, but I just haven't, I haven't, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it, if, um, the enemy's discouraged me or I've discouraged myself or if it wasn't really even from God. And I just been really working on, and going through my own trials and things and working on things and, I just got really encouraged, um, especially recently, 
I watched this thing um, on Amazon called, oh gosh, it's called Before the Wrath, and it's like a document. It's just talking about, you know, the rapture, tribulation, all that stuff, and uh, it just really, really shifted my focus back on to what's important. It's like, oh, we need to be preparing ourselves for Yeshua's coming. We need to be, this is a daily thing, and... Um, yeah, so I just hope that encourages you and maybe like, you know, uplifts you, may the Spirit, Holy Spirit uplift you during these times, these trials where things just don't seem good or in our favor. Yes, you do. That's a big stick, babe. Um, you know, when things are impossible, God makes a way always. So at this moment, things seem just impossible, uh, especially for God's people. Here, I mean, I can only say from my experience here in the United States, um, I know that things have been, the persecution has been going on outside. It's not that it hasn't happened here, but it has definitely been very evident outside the United States and other countries. But I think the way that things are happening, the way that the, the enemy seems to have such a foothold in, in things that are so important, it's things just seem to be so impossible. But, you know, God split the Red Seas. When they came to a point of this is impossible, it came to a dead end, God made a way and also destroyed the evil, wicked ones. So... We just, I just keep my faith and I, I keep my hope. Um, and there's something about, that's something that's been laid on my heart is guarding, guarding your mouth and tongue. And that's actually in scripture. <laughs> Anyways, we should just speak life. So anything that could be speaking death or speaking like, that could be like, you know, you know just words, you might not even truly mean it intentionally this way that you're not trusting God but sometimes what we say is just come it is that's what you're saying without intentionally trying to say word for word like I'm not trusting God it's just you, you speak things we should be speaking life and encouragement and it, maybe certain things that you're feeling even though it seems so real in your face like the world is showing you this choose to guard your mouth and hold it back or you know and just say I'm not even going to say it I'm not going to talk about it I'm not going to speak it and then just speak life and truth and hope and um, just pray on us, pray scripture. That's something that I've been working on myself. So uh, I hope this encourages somebody out there um, that God is still God and he is still in control. I understand as a parent, these are scary times because my children are young for, I have three, one on the way, but they're all under four and under. They're so pure and innocent. And it's scary to see what the world wants them to become. They want to ruin and corrupt our children. And it's just so scary. It makes my heart hurt so much. And I talk about really relying and leaning on God because as a parent, there's only so much I can do. You know, there's only so much I can do. Um, but God can do the rest, you know? So, uh, so much love for everyone. And I'll be posting soon, I'm sure. I think I'll be posting more regarding my pregnancy. Uh, I am 25 weeks pregnant, and um, that's exciting. Yeah, so, uh, so much love to everybody.